An understanding of the fundamental factors along with a very good knowledge of candlestick patterns goes a long way in choosing the right trade for the market. Hello everyone, my name is Hitesh and I welcome you all to Trade Brains YouTube channel. Now through this video, we'll be discussing a very simple topic, but it's of common interest to everyone who is doing a technical trading. I'm talking about finding candlestick patterns which are bullish by nature. We'll be explaining about three most common and the most beneficial form of candlestick pattern which are suited for bull market. So without wasting any time, I'll be redirecting our discussion on understanding the most common form of three candlestick pattern that is for bull market. So the first share under consideration here is ITC Limited and the candlestick pattern which we're talking about is bullish engulfing. Now what does engulfing means? Engulfing is that form of candlestick pattern in which the second candle completely overshadows or engulfs the first candle. Now for a bullish engulfing, the prior candle has to be a red one and the engulfing candle is a green one. And for a bearish engulfing, the prior candle is a green one and the engulfing candle is a red one. Here we'll be discussing more about bullish engulfing. So if you look at this chart, if you keep your attention on the curve which I, which I pointed here, the prior trend has been a continuously bearish one. The market has been on downtrend and it has been continuously falling and making new lows every day as you can see here. Now upon the completion of this day, the market still looks a very bearish one and the move is more likely to continue on the downside. But the next day when the market opens near the low of previous day and it doesn't go below the low of previous day, it does set a few alarm bells and when the market eventually ends in green and much above the previous day by engulfing the complete body of previous day, it completes the pattern of bullish engulfing. Now how does one go about trading it? The best way is either you take a trade on the same day when the pattern is complete near the close of the day or you wait for the next day wait for the confirmation of the pattern for the on the second day and enter on the next day there are two ways of trading it now what are the benefits of this pattern this pattern for starters gives you very good stop loss for your trade the stop loss for your trade is the low of the green candle which in this case is below 180 rupees and how do we know what's the target the target is always the first resistance in the market which is closer to the range which, which i plotted here which is rupees 205 so an entry at 10180 or 185 for that matter and a target of 205 is 20 rupees which here is 12 percent return over a period of about 8 to 10 sessions so that is the power of bullish engulfing candlestick pattern on the completion of this pattern it gives you very good risk to reward trades and that is the whole crux of trading any trader who wants to have a sustainable long career would obviously want to enter those trades which give you good risk to reward ratios so that is the first candlestick pattern which is the bullish engulfing the second pattern which i'll be talking about the bullish doji reversal and the share under consideration here is icici bank now i'll be moving the chart here so please pay your attention here if you look at the prior pattern on the left hand side has been a very bearish one and the market has fallen from the price of say 540 to almost 3 280 rupees which is during the times of pandemic now how did one know which is the reversal time we saw many doji candles before this now we have to understand the three important candles here if you look at the point where i plot i pointed my cursor here the candle is a red one and it looks like making more lows in the market more new lows in the market and which is likely to continue for some days now if you look at this doji candle here which formed after the formation of red candle that just halted the downfall in the market. We could see some reprieve bulls in the market. And when the next candle became a completely green candle here, which is where the real trade happened in the market, it just made sure that the stop loss was below this doji candle, which is 280. Your entry price could have been somewhere around 304 to 305 rupees, which gave you a return of almost 50 rupees over a period of next to three, two to three days. So a good risk to reward ratio of nearly one is to three, giving a reward of 50 rupees against a stop loss, 18 to 20 rupees is always beneficial. But the point which I'm trying to stress here is this, for this kind of pattern to be successful, you always keep trailing your stop losses. You don't keep your initial stop loss. As in when the market starts going in your favor, keep trading your stop loss. Over a long period of time also, the stop loss never got breached and the market eventually went back all the way up to the levels of 450, 460 but it would have been difficult to hold that but on the first two to three days you would have made a decent return and as and when the pattern repeated again in the future would have given a decent return on the money which you invested in the market now a third form of bullish candlestick pattern which i'll be talking here is the bull marabuza pattern and the chart under consideration here is hdfc bank again here the prior pattern doesn't hold much significance but it's important to pay attention what the market has been trying to do 
the market has again been on a continuously downtrend and it is making new lows and when this pattern happens here on this day that is the green green candle which is complete body so before i explain the concept marabuzu is that form of candlestick pattern in which the open and low are the ends of the candle if it's a bull marabuzu candle the low is the bottom of the candle and the low is the high of the candle and vice versa for a bearish marabuzu candle here we are talking about bull marabuzu and if you look at this chart here the open was near the level of 1678 and the close was near the level of 1769 which is a candle of nearly 100 rupees you can say there is a wig of 1 or 3 to 4 rupees which is hardly 3 to 4 percent of the candle size any pattern which gives you 90 90 percent plus accuracy on the formation is decent enough for to be qualified to be called as that pattern here the candle body size was 95 percent it formed a very strong marabozo which decent amount of volume the volume on that day was higher than the average of last 20 to 20 25 trading days which again give a conviction that the bulls are coming back in the market and upon the completion of this formation you could enter the trade on that day itself or on the next day because you got similar entry prices and the return was to the tune of 250 rupees which here is 15 percent on the amount of invested and over a period of say one month so which is a very good risk to reward trade very good return for any form of trading style so these are three bull candlestick formation we talked about the first being the bull doji reversal bull marabozo and bullish engulfing candlestick pattern i hope this pattern are explained here it gave you a decent understanding of how to use these patterns with live examples i hope this video was good enough to give information about bull candlestick pattern i hope to see you in future videos of financial education signing off for this video thank you so much